Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. To all of my new viewers and subscribers, thank you for hopping on. I so appreciate you. And to all of my returning subbies, hey. So first of all, I wanna say thank you all so much for doing these weekly reading plans with me. Um, I try my hardest to make sure that I am posting on the um, community board um, just to share my thoughts or revelations that I get from each of the readings. I know sometimes I'll fall short in having them in a timely manner, but I try to make sure that I get my posts for all seven days. And please, please, please don't be shy. Leave your comments and your thoughts and even questions on the discussion board because the whole point of me um, putting that board up there because I wanted us to hold each other accountable and have a group um, where we can be able to learn the word, write the word, um, discover how it's you know changing us and figuring out how it can you know just make us better together. So I do have a reading plan for this week but I will tell you what it is at the end of the video as well. It will be linked to the video as well as at hertestimony.com. So as you can see, um, we're about to set up for the week of Monday, January the 14th through Sunday the 20th, which is my birthday. And I feel like I want to keep it really simple. Um, so I want to use, I'm going to keep the color scheme. Um, some days I'm feeling the colors, other days I'm not. I guess it just kind of depends on the layout or the color scheme that I want to go with. Um, so I'm going to stick with the purple and the blue and I have some... Um, gold letter stickers um, this came out I believe it was like a I'm not sure I'm not even gonna lie but it's gold foiled and it just has um, inspirational words on here praise joy grace mercy things of that nature so these are things that I want to remind um, myself of um, just on a regular basis and as well to kind of piggyback off of the reading plan that we'll be doing um, I'm going to use some purple washi and then I have some flowers left over from the girl sticker book. Um, I actually gave the book to my niece um, but I really wanted to keep these flowers because I really like them. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up over here and we're going to go ahead and start with our reading plan. And just to kind of give you a glimpse, again I haven't finished my notes but this is how last week turned out. And again, I just pretty much scripture write so the scripture can, um, so I can retain it and so I can be able to bring it back to remembrance when I need it. And then what I've been doing is just writing my um, thoughts and revelations on the community board, again, at hertestimony.com. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this plan with me and my classic size happy planner that I use for my faith plan.
finish my spread in my classic size happy planner that I use for faith planning and this is actually a faith planner it's not the um, faith warrior one but it's one that is designed for faith planning but um, as you can see still very decorative but also functional um, I do believe anytime you're using something to journal or to do scripture writing, reflections, or whatever the case may be, you don't want to add too many stickers just because you just don't know how much you're going to write for that day. And you can always go back in and lay more stickers um, after the fact. And I might do that this week with this spread. Um, the first two weeks I just been scripture reading so I didn't have any space to add any stickers but I'm feeling like this week um, may be a week where I'll be able to just write more of my thoughts based on the reading plan and then I can fill in with other stickers to um, fill up the white space but this is the layout and the reading plan that I will be doing this week and I hope that you all can join me it's actually a five-day reading plan which probably works out because it's the way my rack has been going, I normally like get to day five and then I don't even go back to my um, planner. And that's because, you know, Saturdays I am get off of work late and I'm exhausted after working a full week. Well, technically not a full week, but when you're on your feet 12, 14 hours, it feels like a full week. And then on Sundays, I typically am, you know, writing in my um, planner that I use strictly for sermon notes when I go to church so sometimes I don't go back in and fill out on Sundays either so with that being said this week we're going to do a five-day reading plan and you can use your other two days to reflect write prayers or write out an action plan in regards to how you're going to implement those um, what you've learned from the reading plan so just to kind of show you what we'll be reading um, and I apologize for the glare. You can see my phone. But we will do be doing a reading plan again, still in the U Version Bible app. It is a free app, so if y'all haven't downloaded it, go ahead and downloaded it. Download it. <laughs> They're not paying me. They're not promoting me. But this is an amazing Bible app to use. You have everything from the Bible and a million different reading versions. You have the Bible where you can listen to it audibly. Um, audibly is that a word well to listen to it in an audible form if you don't want to read it um, or you can read along with it I like to read along with it when I'm sitting down um, you got different reading plans you got videos this app is a Christian person and especially uh, I would say um, if you're a beginner and you're just trying to get in the word and you really don't know what to read or how to read the app is amazing because it has so many different things in here that you can use so many amazing tools that will help create a um, just a structure for you and help to get you closer to Christ so make sure you download this app but we will be doing broken crayon still color and the reason why um, I pull from this scripture because a lot of times you know we are broken from something whether it's major or whether it's small and you feel like that you can't still function or go on in that particular area of your life whether it be you know you unable to have children physically you feel like you're broken and you just can't go on but you still can be a mother you still can have maternal attributes that you add on to somebody else's life or say you used to be a dancer and you you know damage your Foot and you can't dance anymore you can still teach other people how to dance don't allow what is broken to keep you from doing what you love to do so anyway um, just to kind of give you a little summary this just talks about um, it says many times what we see as our biggest regrets failures and mistakes become what God uses the most in our lives God transforms our brokenness into something more beautiful than we can even imagine. He takes our mess and creates a masterpiece. God is the artist and our lives is his canvas. What will you allow him to create from your broken pieces in your life? In this five day plan, you will read scriptures and better understand how broken crayons still write. 
so we will be starting this on Monday the 14th and I look forward to you all jumping in on the um, community group and it's at www.hertestimony.com I would love for you all to join in I feel like this particular reading plan is going to minister to so many people so with that being said here is my spread and please tag me in your spreads too that you are doing tag me in your posts um, if you posted anything in regards to our reading plans so I can know that we're still connected and holding each other accountable so if this spread is cute to you like it's cute to me because look at all this falling you guys and this purple and green like I said sometimes this purple and green is just speaking to my spirit and other days it's just kind of like Ooh. so anyway um, if you like this give me a thumbs up Ooh, my nails match and as well if you haven't done so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and as well make sure you drop me a comment and go through the description box to see all the good information that is in there for you and share this video with your planner friends if this has inspired you so you can pay it forward so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan so until next time planner fam peace Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.